for this location here, I'm going to demonstrate to you. I was told <clears throat> when you move to work here, your MKL tray is finished. Of course, because these are stairways, you can do exercise in them. And at the same time, you can ride on the laptop. <clears throat> so, to access this, I had to remove all this shit. This, 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 and also this, and also this. They loaded here with garbage so that you wouldn't get anywhere near. Because it's that time of the year. How about this here? This is the only plug that you have for electricity. First, this shit is going to have to be removed. That's the number one thing. That's the first thing that's going to have to be removed. It was done in a such a way that would not give you even a chance, even an idea to try change this stuff. You see? One, two, three. You want to plug extra this, you have nowhere to plug. But that's not the whole thing. I'm going to demonstrate you more. This stuff is also not good enough. This is also not good enough because there are only three of this. And uh, you actually, this is how you access this, by the way. You see this shit here? You have to climb up there. You have to climb all the way up so you can get here to the router. So you can get to electric uh, current, basically. That's how that goes. <clears throat> you can't do anything about with this shit here either, because there's no way you can plug uh, another something like this inside in there. So it goes like this, <clears throat> it goes like this, yeah, <clears throat> I thought I have to pull inside, push inside, but it's not necessary, you cannot push further than this. No matter what the fuck you do, this is all the way to the end and you don't have to push because it doesn't hold anything. It goes, it goes like this, in, and it goes out, it goes in like this. You just drop it and you can do it. Oh, look at my finger. That's all there is. That's all you can do. Okay, see, white finger, okay. Now, the same shit. It's loose. It's completely loose. It's not as bad as this one here. But it's loose. It's loose enough for you not to do anything like this. That's how basically that's done. They compel you. They literally compel you <clears throat> for you to do something, nothing, stupid, not exercise and do the stuff. <laughs> they exercise and do the stuff. This is where I sleep, by the way. Now, this is where I sleep now, because this is what I moved from the room. The interesting thing is, they did the same thing to this door, which is the room from my father's hunting room. They did the same thing with these doors as they did to the doors from my room. Today, before I went sleep, like one hour into sleep, like you start to sleep deeply and they know because they listen, because they have video cameras, they surveillance you 24-7. The only thing you hear is 
like this you hear it's something that is squeezed inside and that's what exactly they told me they're gonna do and you can see here straight into inside of the room through that crack right there as a matter of fact I'm gonna take this off like this and it's a really really shitty camera this camera is really really shitty oh this is such a shitty camera really it's a cheap phone the telephones even the Russians were making fun out of them which telephones are going to be allowed to use and I regarded them as a shit what's even more interesting through Illuminatis through the Royals through the Buckingham Palace they rated this phones that I have at least 10 years prior to the market and it's possible that it was year even 2010 when I had the Russians making fun out of the phones I hold in my hands now these are the phones released to the market literally talking about the graphics uh, how one phone is gonna have a low memory uh, RAM but a better um, RAM ROM but a better graphics and the other was going to have a completely shitty graphics and how they're going to hack them and so on and so forth this is just through the local company called Telemach the one who was making business with this company with the Telemach was London London was the one who got this company the technology uh, so they could so they could do the stuff um when compared to other companies basically so they could be competitive to other companies this is this is what the door looks like like this it's a very very decent door however they destroyed one like this now is it possible they're using directed energy weapon and they're just coming to the door and do like this yes of course it is it could have been my mother that came downstairs and did uh, and it was a directed energy that was used or vice versa you don't fucking know uh, having people like this inside is not a blessing she's playing with the keys from the garage doors and all kinds of stuff like this making things impossible not difficult yeah that's the way it is as a matter of fact that's exactly how it is Too bad the phone is so shitty that I cannot demonstrate to you that you can actually see inside in there. You can actually see inside in there. There is a way to see it through. But I think I did prove the point. You go and you fucking bent the door like this. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> because this is significant to me, I am going to use a second phone and I'm just going to use enough for you to see the crack. Maybe, I hope so. See if I can produce this uh, like this. Yeah, this telephone totally, totally suck. This is very, very bad telephones. Uh, it's 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 extremely bad because you can clearly see right now <clears throat> you can see a crack all along uh all along this stuff here all along this you can see the crack the light and here you can see actually through but there is nothing i can do there is nothing i can do because the telephone is really shitty Let's try now. Ah, uh, you can see it. You can see it through. You can see it inside of the room. You can see it. You see? 
you see the light that you see right there there you go that you, you can clearly see inside of the room okay that's a trick that's the way to do it there you go there you go okay <clears throat> today just one hour into sleep once I started to sleep it was like you would squeeze something inside um, just like it is the sound like this um, but as I stated you know it was a Friday It was a Friday when I came here with a mother back uh, and it was from the shopping that we came and I parked the car like this, but it was night like this, <clears throat> parked the car like that right there and so I was going to back one uh, into garage. Mm. that's all you get to see now this garage here there are two garages here so this garage so the only thing that happened was as I went inside of the car and I started back the car I took the photos pictures everything and it's all audio recorded too because I was driven insane and it was exactly according to MK Ultra when police insisted me they're gonna have a neighbor wait right in here in this valley here that you see like this that's gonna come out as soon as I unlock the door. That he's gonna come here. He's gonna take. He's gonna pull the key out. Once I sit in the car, key out, disappear in the back. I'm gonna back the car inside, park the car inside. Night, you know, night. Uh, so that I'm gonna come out and lock the door. Uh, once uh, I would try to lock the door, the key would not appear inside of the lock. That's exactly what was in Friday. I started to look and it was exactly what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch told me. You're going to be looking and looking and looking for the key and mother is going to already take all the merchandise, everything upstairs back and forth and you will be looking and looking and looking for the key and you will not find the key. I was driven insane for about 10 minutes looking all over the car as per what the fuck happened where <clears throat> where the key is because <clears throat> I couldn't find one um, I went out again to see on a parking lot I mean if there's something on a parking lot that have fallen that by any accident I didn't put the key inside of the garage door and I walked maybe to the car and uh, you know it would be key that would fell me from the hands or something like this uh, before I did this I noticed immediately as I opened the garage door and I look at the lock and I saw the key inside but the key had attached a rubber band the key had attached a rather a rubber band a rubber gummy a rubber band and the rubber band was thrown down like this on the floor uh, right on the outside it was thrown like this right outside of the floor and the key was from the outside was again inserted inside that's how they do it they drive insane they drive insane 24-7. So I'm just letting you know about the Directed energy weapons, gas poisoning. I am 100% certain was a fact. Uh, used, done on me repeatedly. It makes you sleep deprived, exhausted. Uh, with the blood pressure, with everything, you get up. The first thing you do is you jump the pain because you were in a pain so much 24-7 for five years already this goes on that you just throw yourself on the food and you eat. 
And that's the stuff they told me they have done also to other people and they destroyed everyone. They didn't done this to anybody, but they did this stuff to me. That's all I want to say to you. Uh, for the gas poisoning, they told me the gas poisoning is not going to be true because the gas poisoning is very easy to discover because it leaves the residues and stuff like this bullshit. The people who told me about that stuff are the people who did a lot, a lot, a lot of bad stuff too. Uh, so I don't believe the fucking people like this say anything at all they have to say. Even if they would go inside and look for the stuff and they wouldn't find one, I still wouldn't fucking believe them shit. That's how bad this stuff is.